Hi there, in this video I want to show you how time blocking works on iOS. This means on iPhone and iPad. This was already a feature uh, for some time on macOS and now with the recent update we brought it also to iOS. So what you can see here is my iPhone which I have connected and I have already created a list of or checklist of uh, tasks or time blocks which I want to create. For example, reply to emails, gym, and so on. So these tasks might contain more details, which you can write below. But I like to use a heading uh, just to structure my day, just for the time blocks. And you also see there's a new button at the bottom right, below the search button. And this brings up the timeline. So at the moment, I don't have any events or reminders in here, but usually if you have some, you will see them here as well. So you can plan around your meetings, for example. And you can drag this timeline in different positions. So if you want to just have an overview of everything, you can pull it up completely and hide the uh, editor and scroll around. Or you can uh, position it like half the screen so you have also space to drag and drop from your um, checklist here at the top so you can create the time blocks and this is how you can create them so you scroll to the time where you want to have it <clears throat> and you uh, long press a task and then you can drag it into the timeline and drop it in the time uh, for the time where you want to when you want to start this task so for example let's reply to emails at 8 a.m but half an hour is not enough so you can long press this time block and then you see it gets selected and it, uh, you see the two new drag handles appear at the top right and bottom left. And this allows you to resize it. So let's say one and a half hours for replying to emails. And if you made a mistake, you can also long press it again and then change the position by dragging it up or down. So let's say we start a little bit later, 8.15. So this is our first task. Let's add the others. So after replying to emails, let's go to the gym. Also a bit longer, run tests. So we will test things up to lunchtime. Then we'll have lunch for an hour. And finally improve sync. And this we can drag up to 5 p.m. for example. So I'm now done planning my day basically. And during the day you can also, uh, you might want to open this to check off things or to see which is the next task you need to focus on. What you can do now is, so let's say uh, we have replied to the emails already and it's 10 a.m. So you can tap on reply to emails. Then you see three options. Um, popping up as a context menu, complete, edit, and delete. If you say complete, then it will check off the task. You see it checks it off in real time, also in the editor, and shows it in lower opacity and the timeline, so it's not taking away your uh, focus. And um, if you want to say cancel it, so we didn't make it to the gym, for example, you tap on it, and you tap on edit, then it highlights the task in the editor, and then you can edit it as usual. For example, let's cancel this one. And the last one is you can delete um, the time block. It doesn't delete the checklist or the task. It will just delete um, the time inside the text. So let's say delete and you see it disappears from the timeline, but it still stays in the editor. So it doesn't delete the task itself, but the time. So this is how it works on iPhone. Let me show you how it works on iPad. Here you can see how it looks like on the iPad. It has a similar interface like on macOS. And now you can, like on iPhone, you can expand and minimize the calendar basically to have more space for the timeline. And you see the timeline is below the calendar like on Mac instead of pulling it up uh, like on iPhone from the bottom. And you can basically do the same here too. Uh, long press a task and then drag it and drop it into the timeline where you want to have the task. And then long press to edit it or to move it. 
and single press to complete, to edit and delete it. So if you are editing the uh, your text, you will see you either have a, uh, the digital keyboard, which pops up from the bottom, or in this case, I have an external keyboard connected and you see these, this toolbar at the bottom here. And in this case, you cannot really drag the task. You could drag the cursor instead. And there are two things you can do. Either you select the task and then you drag it. Then it, you see the keyboard also closed or the it went into um, uh, read mode. And you can do the same uh, if you want to get out of the editing mode. You can also hit command return and then the drag and drop is much easier. You don't need to select the text anymore. You can just drag and drop. So that's all for now. I hope you enjoy this update and this video and see you in the next one.